Hello, I'm Justin, and I'm here today to review this Regent electric guitar. This was made in the 1960s at some point. There aren't any labels or anything here, apart from the bit where it reads Japan here. You notice I might be missing a few screws. It looks like I'm missing a few screws, but the tips of the screws actually broke off at the neck as I was putting this thing back on, trying to readjust it, so it's stable, but just so you know, <laughs> I don't have a couple of screws there. But the rest of it is fairly stable. The truss rod is maxed out. You may find that some of these old vintage guitars have maxed out truss rods or truss rods that are just about ready to be cranked and this is no exception but the whammy bar on this thing is impeccable it's not going to replace your Floyd Rose whammy bar but you know, with enough caution it can stay in tune so the other thing about these guitars is that this one has a master volume and a master tone um, Pretty sure that these knobs have been replaced. These look like Fender supersonic knobs you might see on their supersonic amplifiers. But everything else appears to be original, including the bridge with the mute, which I'm not going to engage because it doesn't really work that well. It has a rhythm and solo switch down here, but I think these capacitors have been fried out and they're not working. So it kind of acts as a three position kill switch. I try to keep it in one position if I can help it. Um, I actually just got this thing today, so I'm still kind of getting acclimated to it. But apart from that switch, everything else seems to be working out. The intonation's good. The pickups are a little microphonic, but I'm trying to avoid that by structuring my gain a bit differently than usual. So for today's purposes, I'm going to be plugged into a Fender Princeton Chorus amplifier. It's a solid state unit from around the 1990s. And I'm gonna be in the clean channel of the amp with my bass turned up, my volume and treble broken off. I can't actually adjust those controls because those knobs broke off some time ago. And my mid-range is at about seven out of 10. And my reverb is off, but I will engage that momentarily. So, without any further ado, this is the neck pickup. So that's the neck humbucker. These are both humbuckers, but um, it was listed as having a coil split, but these rhythm and solo switches typically cut off bass and, and what have you, so but like I said, in this case... There's really not much difference in position, so... You may find that if you get a guitar that has this switch, it might need to be rewired. But I'm not going to go to great lengths to get this taken care of just yet. Mm. But I'm going to show you what both pickups sound like now. So here's the neck pickup again. And here's both. And here's the bridge pickup. So now I'll turn on a little bit of reverb. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
turn down the reverb just a little bit. And now I will turn on an overdrive in the form of an Ibanez bottom booster. I'm going to start on the neck pickup and then cycle through all the pickup settings. settings to this pedal and the red one is more of an Octavia flavored fuzz but this is more of a standard fuzz tone and I'm gonna leave the bottom boost engaged so here's without it here's the fuzz This is going to be the bottom boost and the fuzz. up an old vintage guitar like this that the pickups are a little microphonic and they'll squeal when you have a lot of gain but sometimes you luck out and have a pickup that's not so microphonic and can feed back in a positive manner so yeah this is a brief look brief presentation here of this Regent 335 styled electric guitar they made a couple of other models, and I have not found the official model name for this one yet. There's only um, a couple of findings of these guitars on Instagram, and they just say it's a 335 style, so I know as much as they do, unfortunately. But if anyone could chime in as to what this really is, please let me know because I really like it. So I'm Justin Spicer. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.